guys what's up how's everyone doing beautiful weather today but i'm on chuler obosta kubi kharap and don't look at my hair and just see the review that i'm going to take today just be busy with that guys the watch that i have for you today is a 41 mm wimbledon dial rose gold with steel this is half steel half gold gold kungula the fluted bezel is gold the crown is gold the jubilee bracelet the center link is gold the clasp pair match kanta it's gold so this is wimbledon dial so wimbledon dial is very special judy the watch enthusiast you guys know how special the wimbledon dial is if you're not a watch enthusiast if you're just a person who doesn't know that much about watches so let me tell you something this dial the wimbledon dial is very special there are few dials in rolex that are really special and very hard to get in the market right now the market is crazy crazy uh the secondary market went very very out of the box recently the prices are going up recently the price went down a little bit i don't know why people are giving posts um the price crashed in the secondary market i don't understand it's just a few hundred dollar a thousand dollar less than before this was 18500 now it's like 17500 it's just a thousand dollar difference but i don't know why people are posting articles with this word crash there's nothing that's crashing at the moment it just went a little bit down but it is what it is so guys this watch right here is a beauty so entry level watch there's nothing called an entry level watch nowadays because what would you call a entry level watch a watch that is worth like $7000 $8000 you'll never ever find a watch with 10 or $11000 for Rolex nowadays so we cannot call a watch that is over $40000 an entry level watch because over $12000 is no more entry level even over like $10000 is no more entry level watch the entry level watch is like let's say 5000 6000 7000 those are entry level watch but in Rolex nowadays nothing is in that price so this let me tell you the speciality about this watch the roman numbers you can see the corners are the edging are green the in the inner part is black the corners are green the second hand and the minute hand uh is rose gold as well the crown inside is rose gold it's a simple dial as you can see this gives a sunburst effect it gives a cd effect it's a gray rhodium dial as you can see if i move the dial if i move the watch it gives a different shine it looks very nice and the fluted bezel just look at the fluted bezel in different light it gives a different shine so the bracelet as you can see the shine the center is polished on the side is satin you can see how shine the effect on the center link gives you just look at the shine beautiful there's one thing you have to keep in mind the clasp gets scratched very easily so you got to be careful on the clasp it does get scratches really easily but the good thing about the jubilee bracelet so this watch you can get in two variation one with the oyster band and one with the jubilee band this right here that i have is on a jubilee band so the good thing about the jubilee band is that even if it gets scratches it's not visible as much as the oyster band this is a five link so five link band 1 2 3 4 5 link band and the oyster band has like a three link so if you have to buy a watch what would i recommend Bif different people have different uh, opinions my opinion would be go with the jubilee band because this is more of a dressier watch that is more the oyster band is more of a sporty type of vibe uh it does get scratches really easily but if you don't care you can go with that 
but I personally would recommend you get the Jubilee band it gives a different type of shine as you can see see the Rolex in-house movement this is a 70 hour power reserve which means if you wind the watch perfectly this watch will run three days non-stop even if you don't wear the watch so that is a good thing about this watch before this they used to do 42 hour power reserve which you know would give you a two day uh, runtime without winding but now recently not only did they just 41 even the day just 36 most of their watches are like 70 hour power reserve now so that is good so guys the price for this watch is somewhere in between from 17,500 to 18,500 now depending on the year depending on the if the watch is new or pre-owned this and that there's a lot of things that's going on so prices really vary i cannot give you the accurate price it really varies it depends on the year the condition if you're buying a pre-owned watch the condition if you're buying new new is new there's nothing to talk about that but it depends on the year as well the price hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe like hit the bell icon it's really hot i'm doing the video for you guys i'm burning inside don't forget to subscribe like i love the view i'll see you soon on the next video guys peace